What's going on everybody? We are back. Another video. Another unboxing coming. So we got two boxes. So let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. Hmm, which one to do first? Alright, let's do this. Yeah, we'll do this. Alright. It's a white box, most of you can probably. There it is. Paul George. PG logo there. All that. All right, let's open this oh boy. You already. Yes. All right. So, got the PG3 NASA's here. See, it's orange and blue and synthetic mesh upper and whatnot. See here. On the back there, where that shows up, um, I've got the light there. There's the NASA logo below the PG logo there. Now, I'm going to zoom in here, so hopefully that shows up. And what it says is, it's actually one of his favorite quotes. It says, don't tell me the sky is the limit when there are footprints on the moon. And I wish, like, I'm trying to get it so you can see it, but that light, I don't know, that, that glare is really bad. I spent a lot of time trying to show you that. Uh, here's your PG logo right there. And as you let me pull this out here, you can see there's a NASA logo on the insole there. Here's your outsole there. These moon crater like uh, <clears throat> suction type cups there. They're not really suction cups, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, that the 93352 there. I'll show you the other one. <clears throat> Try to be a little bit quicker here. See, it's got the uh, the USA flag, like the patch that's on the astronauts' gear there. Um, and now on this one, you have the Apollo 11 launch, which, if memory serves me correctly, and one of you can correct me. Um, that launched from his hometown in Palmdale, if I'm not mistaken. There's your logo there. And again, wrapping around the heel, it says the, the same thing here. And I apologize for the, the glare. And then here is your, your tongue there. All right, remove before flight. I shan't be removing that. <coughs> so, here's that. Now, up next is the Air Jordan 5 GSP, the Varsity Royal Laney's. <clears throat> Decided to pull the trigger on these because my original Laney's from 99 are basically unwearable. But, got a nice, well, nice, a, it's an okay new buck upper. I really like, blue's my favorite color. So, that's kind of why I got it. But, <clears throat> hopefully it shows up. Now, it may be hard to see the, the three M on the tongue there with this light. I think for future reference, I'm going to go with a slightly different lighting setup because this is actually almost too bright. But, <clears throat> You live and you learn, there's your 23. Jump man on the back. Your clear mesh, there's that. And, I don't know if you can see inside there, but inside you've got a 23 on that insole. Okay, it says the same thing, you got a 23 there. So, <clears throat> have it, I'm gonna bring the camera down here all right so here is close up one last view of the nasa eg3s and i've actually liked the design of that shoe once i actually started reading about it a little bit i learned to appreciate it a little more and i'm interested to see some of the um other colorways. I did just see uh, the All-Star colorway. <clears throat> um, so 
in the right colorway, the PG3 is definitely a nice shoe. Now, it's going to hit my tripod, so I'm just going to reach in and actually turn these manually. There's that there. <clears throat> that was that. that clear out so there. All right, and there you have it. The NASA PG3s and the Air Jordan 5 the Varsity Royal Laneys. So, definitely thank everyone for watching. Be sure to head over to uh, sneakershoptalk.com for your sports news. And with the trade deadline, there's definitely a lot of that going on um, as far as updates on the website. Also, uh, sneaker and sneaker related news and our very popular segment, Stupid Things People Do For Sneakers, which we just uh, posted a new article uh, in that column there. So thanks again for everybody watching. Be back real soon. Peace To the rack he would dunk on you um, He had a really